Hi guys. Today for math, I need you to grab three to five of your toys and decide which tool you'll need to measure with. Um, you can use cubes, Legos, blocks, paper clips, candies, crayons, and I'll show you what I gathered to measure my toys. Okay, so I gathered three different types of tools that you might have at your house to use also. I have sticky notes, I have toothpicks, and I have crayons. So I have three of my toys here that I found around my apartment. I have our Frida doll from our classroom. So I have a stack of playing cards, our Frida doll, and a Harry Potter book. So I'm going to use sticky notes today. So before I measure, I'm going to set up my journal or you can use a whiteboard or a piece of paper and write down um, what you're going to be measuring. So at the top, I'm going to say measurements. Measure. Mints. And I'm going to write toy number one. And then make a line so I can just fill it in. And then I'll write toy number two. Another line. And toy number three. All right, so you can set up your paper or your whiteboard or your journal like this before you start measuring. Okay, so first I'm going to measure the playing cards and I'm going to use sticky notes. So remember that you have to start right at the edge of whatever you're measuring and you have to use, put your measuring tools right up next to the first one, so, so that you get an accurate or a correct measurement. That's a little hard to see, but it's almost two sticky notes long. So I'm going to round up and say that my toy number one was two sticky notes long. Well, right, two, here, so you can see it, two, Sticky notes long. Okay, and then I'm going to measure my next toy with sticky notes. All right, so I have our Frida Kahlo doll, and I'm going to start where her feet are. Sometimes it's kind of hard if, if the toy is a weird shape, so just try your best. Make sure you line up the tools correctly. Oops. All right, so that's two. She's about three sticky notes long, so I'm going to write next to toy number two, three sticky notes long. Make sure you write what tool you use so that we know what it was because if it the crayons are much longer than the sticky notes so that would be a different measurement all right that was toy number two now i'm going to try my harry potter book okay so i'll turn it to the side so i can measure it with my sticky notes let's see that's one Three, four, and it's about half a sticky note after that. So one, two, three, four, and a half. So let me write four 
And to write a half, you can do one over two. One, a line, and then a two. Four and a half. Sticky notes. All right. You can also try it with different tools. So if I was to use crayons to measure, I would line them up with no spaces in between them, just like I did for the sticky notes. So you could see how that would be different. Let's see. So my book would be almost two and a half crayons long. So you could also write that on your, where you're keeping track of your measurements. All right, have fun measuring.